YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is another crochet hair review video. And today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, is the Zuri Congo Curl Hair. Now, before I get into this review, if you're not familiar with my review series, welcome. Smash that subscribe button. But this isn't a normal kind of a review coming on here, installing the hair, showing you how it looks. Oh, no, no, no. I walk you through the process with the hair. I come on here first with my first day thoughts of a crochet hair showing you how it looks on that very first day after install telling you was it a long install a hard install whether the hair was hard to separate how exactly I installed the hair did I separate the curls did I invisible knot what I did with the install of the hair then I come on here for my one week thoughts of a crochet hair showing you how it looks one week in telling you whether it has gone uphill or downhill in that one week and whether the hair I believe has been high maintenance or low maintenance over the course of that week then I come on here with my final day thoughts of the crochet hair showing you how it looks on that very last day meaning the day I'm taking that hair out I show you how it looks telling you how long of a wear I got whether it was one week two weeks three weeks four weeks five weeks of wear telling you whether it's high maintenance low maintenance water friendly active friendly and all that so I give you a well-rounded picture of the hair now if you want to skip to certain parts in the pinned comment I will list the timestamps for my first day thoughts first week thoughts and all that but if you just want to see the course of the video just keep watching Hello, me. So now coming on here for my first day thoughts of this Zuri Congo curl hair. I have it in the color 2 and Zuri prides himself on being one pack is enough. And it, it prides itself on being that for several different curls. They have the Congo curl but they also have the Go-Go curl, deep twist, water wave, looks like they got a Wanda curl. They have a lot of curls and their hairs are supposed to be one pack is enough. Now I purchased this hair from samsbeauty.com. It was $10.80 and as you can see I bought two packs because even though it's say one pack is enough I don't trust nothing I've had accidents where it says oh three packs is enough and then I'm like okay I need a couple more packs I think there was some lies being told but they pride themselves on being one pack is enough now I was heavily inspired by India Aja if you do not follow her here on YouTube you need to she does this fake it till you make it series with crochet hair and she tries hairs that are more so this more natural curl the curls that are different than you know your free tress water wave your free tress deep twist your hairs like that she tries these more rough texture hair that kind of mirror your real hair if you did a perm rod flexi rod type set she reviewed this hair and I was like well maybe I'll try it someday and then I did a Zuri wig review recently and I was like I have had this channel for three years and I have not tried a Zuri crochet hair not once on this channel maybe this is a sign that I need to try one so India's video I never watch other crochet hair review videos but I was like okay I'm seeing this I love this on her I need to try this hair and this needs to be my first Zuri curl hair that I tried now bought this hair now I did not actually install this hair myself I have installed the last four or five hairs myself and as much as I love installing some hair sometimes you want to take a little breather you want to take a little break you want to relax a little bit so I went back to my mom and my mom has actually installed this hair she did kind of do a straight back braid pattern um, as I typically do hers are a lot tighter than mine though so this is the first time that she's actually braided really really tight so my head is feeling a little tender I'm not used to this but it is a straight back braid pattern meaning I can kind of part it on any side that I want to the way the hair that I have it falling right now is kind of in this left side part you guys know though I'm a creature of habit I love me a left side part the install was very fast the fastest install ever once she got that hair braided down it did not take her more than 30 minutes to put this hair in and that's very fast to me especially coming off of Malaysian curl Malaysian curl was a little bit longer of install for me free trend bohemian braid which is the hair before Malaysian curl was a little bit longer of it installed especially when I got to trying to separate the hair in the front so it was good to have one not have to do my own hair and two have a hair that was a fast install she did use one full pack so the other pack that I bought and then she was like okay let's let's open up that other pack and I was like why you need extra hair everybody is saying this is a one pack is enough type of a hair so the hair comes like this you get an eight inch you get a nine inch and you get a 10 inch. So what you're supposed to do to get the V shape, so they pride themselves on being a V shape, to have the shape that this model has right now, so going like this into a V formation, you're supposed to apply the eight at the bottom, the nine in the middle, and the 10 up top. I did the reverse because I just think I, I was okay with not having that V bob shape. I wanted some length at the bottom, so it was the 10 and nine and eight, so it was a little bit shorter up here, a little bit longer down here, and I like that. So you get your 8 inch you get your 9 inch and then you get your 10 inch she did end up using some of the 8 inch but when we when I look in 
in that mirror after she got done and saw that hair, I looked like a complete and utter lion. I was looking up to here. So we took out about eight or nine pieces of that eight inch. So really I did only use one pack because the rest of this eight inch is just in the trash can now. So one pack is literally enough. If you have a stylist who she's getting to the front of your hair and she's like, okay, we need another pack, run. No, 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 no. One pack is truly enough. Now India, I watched her video. She actually did use half of one pack. She didn't even use the entirety of one pack and that is because she ended up separating the curls. So the curls come like this naturally pretty big pretty big as you can see you're probably wondering how do you get it on a crochet needle you can get it on a crochet needle but she split the hair and she said she split the hair an indefinite amount of times now for me i had handed it to my mom like this so she installed the hair in its full kind of body but then when we got to the front i did split the hair two times so i was left with four strands now this hair is kind of a harder hair to separate but you can do it um just got to be very careful so let me try one it's already messing up yeah, this hair is kind of harder here to separate. So I am amazed that India was able to do it for the entirety of her head because this hair is definitely difficult uh, to separate. Don't be fast with it. So you're going to separate it and then separate it again to have four strands. So that's what I did in the front. My mom did invisible knot at the front, um, but through the rest she did not invisible knot. So it's the regular kind of strand, but just something to be aware of. You can either separate the hair all throughout like India or separate in the front. I also watched Pretty Major's video as well when we started installing my hair and I was like, are we going to need more than one pack? I actually Googled the Congo curl and looks like Pretty Major installed this hair too. So if you have not checked out her channel, she's amazing as well as a youtuber i will link it up above she installed the same way i installed she has used the entirety of the curls throughout and then in the front she separated as well just to kind of invisible knot the hair so again either method is fine either method you're going to use one pack again if your stylist starts saying i'm gonna need some extra hair no 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 this hair is too big already as it is and again it's big if you use half a pack with india she used half a pack and her hair is kind of full as well it's full even if you use a full pack so just something to be aware of last night how I went to sleep is I put this band over my head because I was trying to flatten this hair down as much as I can so I put my headband I slept literally like something from the 1970s 1980s I had this on my head and I wanted to flatten it down because last night I was looking like somebody supreme I was looking like somebody's marvelette I was looking like somebody's dream girl I was having a full type of a hair situation and I wanted to calm it down a little bit taking out some of that hair alleviated it that band sleeping with it last night really doesn't seem to help because it's as full as it was but if you have a kind of small head or small head shape this hair will kind of overpower you so keep that in mind if you kind of have a shape that's kind of a more heart shape kind of a round shape I think this wouldn't look too bad but if you have kind of a I think if you have an oval shape as well I think this hair will really work as well but if you have a very small head this hair is going to really overpower you another thing I will say about this hair is very warm now we are in March right now so it's not not that bad it's not that cold it's not that warm outside but I can see if this was a summertime your hair will be hot your hair will be warm this is not at all I repeat this is not a summer hair so I know we're about to go into the summer and as I'm uploading this it's probably getting close to summertime don't 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 get it now revisit this if I actually end up liking this hair revisit this again in the fall months because this hair is definitely a warmer hair now let me do a kind of a 360 so you can kind of see the full entirety of this hair this is what it's looking like of course this hair it's a little bit shorter than 10 inches 10 inches was down here I cut it up a little bit just for evenness so I'd say it's about nine so really in, in actuality it's like nine inch nine inch and then eight inch but the 10 inch did look a little bit too it didn't match that well so I did cut it up a little bit overall in terms of the texture of this hair very rough texture very rough I have not tried a hair this rough just dry this matte feeling at all I know free trust bring lip one since Jamaican bounce both of them are kind of the rougher texture hairs this is even rougher than that so just keep that in mind the curl pattern is very unique because it's not like a Jamaican bounce it's not like a free chest ringlet one where those are more spiral curls this is a more wavier curl pattern so I really like this but overall for 
first day thoughts pros about this hair very much so quick and easy install if you're looking for something quick and easy very affordable ten dollars and eighty cents in one pack is all you need you cannot literally beat that it has a lot of color options not only do you have a one one b you have the color option like the model had where it was that kind of color you guys know i've been doing a series where you make your own crochet hair this is already a blue color for you so if you want something unique like a blue they have it in this option in terms of the cons with this hair very warm hair very warm hair um if you're looking for something that's going to be cool for the summer months coming up this ain't going to be it um i definitely say i'm really interested in this texture really interested in the upkeep so we'll see if that's a con or a pro but i can definitely see it gearing towards a con of this hair that the upkeep will be a little bit more also about this hair i can already tell this is not going to be a five week hair this is not going to be a hair where i come and see you guys five weeks later saying this hair is still in i can already tell that i might be able to get three weeks of wear out of it but i can't see wearing it any longer than that because the hair is just i know it's gonna frizz i already know i just i can just feel in my bones that a frizz is a common on the horizon and the fact that it's already really big i just can see it just getting frizzy and bigger and bigger as the weeks go on so a con that we will see if it ends up being a con but my feeling in my gut is telling me after reviewing several hairs that this may be a big hair frizz ball type situation but we'll see so that has been my overall first day thoughts of this hair to see my first week thoughts of this hair just keep watching so now coming on here for my final thoughts on the Zuri Congo curl here. Now let me get up in camera so you guys can see it. Sorry, the sun is coming up because it's actually been three days. No, no, this isn't my first week thoughts. This isn't week, you know, four, five, six. This is the final day that I'm wearing this hair. It happens to be a Tuesday. It happened to be going to work in a minute. I never catch the sun like this and I never film on weekdays as you guys know. So you guys already know how I feel about this hair. Now, it says one pack is enough. Maybe one week is also enough as well, especially with me. Now, everything I'm going to say in this portion of the video is my opinion on the hair. You guys come to me for my opinion. I'm no expert on any hairs and I always suggest that you guys check out multiple reviews just don't go based off of what I say but for me this hair has been a no-go I walked into work on Monday already not feeling very confident about the hair it was really big for me it's really big on camera it may look amazing and it may look fabulous but on me it's a very big hair it's just gonna get bigger over time it's a little bit bigger than it was that first day in my opinion the second day and now day three as I'm about to take this out midweek it's even bigger so I, I think it's definitely for somebody with maybe a frame that will fit this if you have kind of a smaller face this hair will overpower you so I walked into work on Monday again not feeling very confident but my old manager sits in the same section I do and she came in and she was like okay let me see your hair because she could see it from the back she walked past me could see it from the back I turned around she was like I don't like that one T and everybody knows my name is Talia out there so everybody at work calls me T she's like I don't like that one T and I was like, all right, another confirmation that I'm not feeling this hair. I went to brunch on Sunday with my friends and they didn't really give no compliments. They didn't say whether they liked it or not. They just said, oh, new hair. I was like, okay, strike one. Strike two was Monday when I got that confirmation at work. And then strike three was last night, my back of my earring had come out um, and the sheets. And I was like, oh man, where's the other earring? These are my favorite earrings. If you guys notice, I wear these in every video. Couldn't find it. Three hours later, I'm shaking my hair out and I'm fluffing my hair and the earring falls so I'm like this hair doesn't even snatch my earrings out my ear oh no 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 this hair is a rough texture here when I say rough texture think about a sponge the best way I can describe it is a sponge you guys know the green at the top sponges the sponges that are yellow at the bottom that green at the top part that's what this hair feels like it feels like I could cut a strand out and then clean and, and wipe away some scratches out of something or buff away stuff because this hair is that rough of a texture of a hair and this is actually the first hair that I've ever tried that actually itches too it actually is itching my scalp not that my scalp is having a re reaction to it but I think the hair uh, fibers are rubbing against my scalp and it's actually itching I have tried what over 30 hairs maybe at this point none have really itched like this hair and if you're a first time watcher of my videos I'm not normally like this as a person the last hair I tried the Malaysian curl wore for four weeks the last hair before that the free track bohemian braid hair wore for five weeks so I'm not somebody who just tries a hair and then immediately takes it out this wins the least amount of days that I've ever 
Warner hair. Before this, the winner was the Outre Dominican straight hair, which I tried in 2017. If you watch my channel, you guys know that was nine days that I wore that hair. This hair has now taken the trophy of the shortest amount of time of a wear for a crochet hair. So good job, Zuri, for doing that. I really want to use this braid pattern, so that's why I'm taking it out so soon because I want to put another crochet hair on it. My mom did a fabulous job with the braid pattern. It's actually one of the tightest installs she's ever done on a braid pattern, and I don't want this braid pattern to go to waste. So I want to reuse this and put some more crochet hair without having to rewash my hair and do all the process over. So that's why I'm taking it out super early. I was going to wait a week, but I was like, I don't want to make this braid pattern get any fuzzier with the itching and the rubbing against the fibers of this hair. Oh, no, no, no. I want to reuse this braid pattern because, again, it's the braid pattern is, is very bomb. And again, on camera, it probably looks amazing, probably looks phenomenal. And I get that. But camera is not real life. This hair already three days in can't even sell it's hard to separate and maybe you need to separate during install um but again this is the separated portion the front of my hair is a separated portion i don't really see a difference between the back it's as uh you know tangly as ever in both spots so definitely a hair that's going to have tangles again only three days in so the pros with this hair inexpensive one pack is enough it's ten dollars and eighty cents on sam's beauty where i bought it so you can get one hairstyle for ten dollars and eighty cents photographs beautifully if you're looking for a hair which i don't think a lot of you guys are looking for hairs that photograph beautifully i think y'all want to really wear hairs but if you're looking for something just for pictures i think this is one of the most beautifully photographed hairs that i ever have like when i was taking pictures on what was it sunday uh with this hair and i was like oh i love these pictures but again you look you want something that looks good in pictures and also looks good in your real life and this isn't something that translates well into real life this hair may actually be active wear friendly so if you are somebody who works out I, I definitely can see this working kind of if you keep it very short because the hair is going to tangle regardless whether you work out or not so if you're going to work out it's going to tangle as much as it does when you're setting still so that's kind of a benefit as well as the fact that no products are really needed with this hair so you're not going to have to use any waters any sprays any braid sheen sprays anything really with this hair so that's an awesome pro i guess but the cons list oh we about to get into these cons the shelf life isn't that long i do not i do not believe that even though i'm taking this hair out because one it's just not for me i don't think even if it was for me type of a hair i don't think i could get more than three weeks of wear period with this hair i think there are other wand curls out there this really looks like remedy curl to me from free trust which i do own i was looking at them too but side by side that has a vibe of that and i hear good things about remedy curl I haven't heard that much about congo curl there's not as many videos out there about Congo curl as there are remedy curl I would try remedy curl next but I just kind of want to switch up just just a little switch up a little bit um but again this hair the shelf life is not there it's low-key very itchy it's an itchy hair so if you are somebody who may have a sensitive scalp to anything I think this hair may be an issue for you out there I'm typically don't have a sensitive scalp and it's irritating me so for anybody out there who does have an actual itchy scalp this is going to irritate you it's going to be big no matter how much you use so if you use half a pack it's going to be big if you use the complete and utter one pack again it looks very big on india but she has a great face her face just fits this hair beautifully and she used half a pack and it's still kind of big and she even acknowledged how big it was on her and she only used a little bit so i think no matter how much you use of this hair a quarter of a pack you're going to have a bigger hair even myself i was thinking about what can i take out to kind of make this hair a little and then i got to some places where it's like i can't take out hair because my braid will show so it's just big naturally again if i don't like a hair on land i'm not gonna like it under the sea so a lot of people ask me if i hate a hair they're like would you still swim in it no I, I don't like the hair on land so i'm never gonna swim in it so i don't think it's swim friendly i think this hair frizzes on land uh to a degree if you guys can kind of see it's frizzing right now on land so again i'm not gonna take this under the ocean and try to try this hair out isn't it gonna not be your hair for the summertime months it's it's just too warm it's warm right now and it's kind of entering into the spring right now it's not gonna work really well for summer and it's a semi heavy hair it's not super heavy but get, but again i use the full and total one pack and it is a little bit heavier and weighted again if you kind of split the hairs which again you can't really split these hair you can but it's going to take you so much time this hair isn't made to be easily split so again just keep that in mind if you want to split the hairs you, you can you just got to have the hands for it because again this ain't no hair that's going to be easily split so overall, my final thoughts is a no recommend for me. I guess it was everything I said. You guys can probably tell. This is a no recommend for me. I'm going to leave this where it is, but I'm not going to count Zuri out of the count. I know a lot of people like the Zuri Go Go Curl hair, and I plan on trying that hair. But if you guys have another Zuri hair that you want me to try instead of the Go Go Curl, please leave it down below. 
I don't want to have another incident like this. So if it's a hair that you kind of have high hopes for, let me know down below. Make sure you let me know down below what other hairs you want to see me do throughout this series. Let me know if you've actually tried this hair and actually loved it because I do like differing opinions. Again, this video on this channel is my opinion on these hairs. I'm so mad that this didn't work out because again, looks so good in pictures. But again, this is a hair that for me just didn't translate well. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. We want you here. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I promise you, if not normally like this, I normally try my hair at what three four weeks minimum so keep subscribed so you can see me try other really really good low low maintenance hair this hair of course is a high maintenance hair make sure you're following me on instagram at leah lamont 89 and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye